What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking all about my stick shift go-kart, how I got it running, all the parts, and how you could build one yourself, and how much everything costs. So I originally built this go-kart for two reasons. One, because go-karts are awesome, they're so much fun. And two, um, to learn basic driving techniques on a small scale at high speeds. So those are the two reasons why I built it. Um, now we're going to talk about some stats. So the engine, 200cc Lafon 5 speed manual clutch, which was exactly what I was looking for. And it's geared for a top speed of about 70 miles an hour. I've only really taken it to 63 miles an hour. And then I'll start having flashbacks of my crash. All right, so let's get into the parts we need to build this car. So the rolling chassis, it's um, a Coyote Sprint racing frame. The rear tires are 12 by nine on six inch rims. The fronts are 11 by four and a half on six inch rims. And I bought the whole chassis off of Craigslist. It was $400 with the engine. I eventually built another go-kart with that engine and sold it. So um, it isn't total to 400, probably around more like 200. Um, the engine, the 200cc Lafon was about $500. Then the exhaust, header, and muffler, that was about 110. Random scrap metal for pedals, mounts, shift linkages, that was about 20. Sprocket was about $20. Chain was about $10. Fuel tank, $30. Fuel pump, $20. And miscellaneous fuel lines and other parts is about $50. So that totals just under $1,200, so not that bad. I started off first by taking this rolly chassis and mounting a bracket in the middle to hold the brake pedal and then made my own clutch pedal from scratch. Then I focused on engine positioning and mounted the engine by welding a plate fixed to the go-kart in the only spot that I had room, which made it difficult to tighten the chain. Eventually, a chain half-link was the solution to my problem after trying several different chain tensioner designs. After I got everything mounted up, I made an exhaust, then changed it, then changed it again until I was happy with it. The wiring for this engine was a pain, but I found a wiring schematic and changed around the pins that were wrong and she fired right up. At this time, I changed the carburetor, the spark plug, and spent the next long while trying to tune the thing, only to realize it was the carburetor jet that needed to be replaced. Eventually, after almost a year, I got the engine running after doing much unneeded work, like adjusting valves and rewiring everything. The process was not very enjoyable, but I learned a lot from it. When I finally got the engine running, I got a proper header for it that I ordered on eBay from Australia. It was the only one that actually fit. At this time, I ripped everything off the frame and completely tore it apart, repainted it, put it all back together, and machined a beautiful shift knob out of aluminum for it. And then I replaced the battery with the new one. It's done for now, it's a ton of fun, and I'm so glad that I built it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.